हेलो एवरी एन वेलकम बैक वेलकम बैक टू अदर वीडियो ऑफ माई चैनल आई एम किशोल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो देर इज अ पीस ऑफ गुड न्यूज़ फॉर ऑल इसरो एस्पायरेंट्स इसरो हैज़ फाइनली रिलीज इज इट्स रिक्रूटमेंट एडवर्टाइजमेंट फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड दे हैव फ्रोजन द रिक्रूटमेंट फॉर अराउंड टू एंड हाफ ईयर्स सो लास्ट टाइम द एडवर्टाइजमेंट कम्स अप इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन बाई इसरो रिक्रूटमेंट बोर्ड और इस सेंट्रलाइज रिक्रूटमेंट बोर्ड दैट इज आई सी आर बी एंड इन लास्ट ट्वीट डे ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ नवंबर दे हैव कम अप विद द एडवर्टाइजमेंट फॉर And the big surprise is that this time a part of the vacancies they are filling by the gate score of 2020 and 2020, 2021 and 2022. Uh, so, so I have shared about this uh, advertisement in my community tab on 29th itself. And since then, I am getting a lot of messages about the selection procedure, how the selection procedure will be going on. Uh, now they are they are uh, telling that they will be taking uh, based on gate score. Then what will be the weightage on gate score and what will be the weightage for the interview? So regarding this, I have got a lot of messages. So that's why I thought let's make a video. It will be a short video only uh, where I'll be uh, you know explaining in detail uh, the advertisement PDF that is there in the website, and I'll be sharing few important things that you must keep in in your mind whenever you'll be applying for this particular post. So if you want to know detail about it, please do watch the video till end. And before starting the video, I always say if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. Without further ado, let's start into today's video. Okay, so first of all, uh, this is the public notice that has come up from, from ISRO, and where it is mentioned that uh, for the job aspirants in the discipline of electronics, mechanical, and computer science through ISRO centralized board, uh, so they they used to recruit students every year through this ISRO centralized recruitment board or ICRB. Uh, but this this year, in order to extend an opportunity to the gate qualified candidate, 68 vacancies uh, in the in in the in the role of scientist engineer SC post in ISRO. Or department department of space in the areas of electronics and mechanical and computer science will be screened based on the gate score of 2021 and 2022 the recruitment procedure will include selection based on gate score and interview then they have said that regular recruitment through written test answer icrb followed by interview will be notified separately in due course so whoever has this uh, kind of confusion whether they will be only recruiting students based on the gate score and interview or not so a part of the vacancies that is uh, 68 vacancies will be uh, filled up by gate score followed by the interview process and then maybe uh, and next year mid they will come up with another advertisement where they will recruit student regularly by they will have a written test first and then followed by a interview so that confusion i hope now it is clear that a part of the vacancies they are taking through this uh, gate score and the other part will be will be filled up by the regular process that is written test and interview so this is the public notice that has come up and now i'll go to the actual notice uh, so this is the actual advertisement notice that is there in isro website and here also it is mentioned that a part of the vacancies for the scientist engineer sc in isro will be filled up by gate score and the remaining vacancies will be based on the written test so the remaining whatever vacancies there the number is still not known but the remaining vacancies will be based on written test and interview now uh, currently whatever the uh, advertisement that is up and whatever the application going on that is fully based for the based on uh, the gate score so the online applications are invited and you have to filled up uh, filled based on the gate score uh, for this uh, for this uh, scientist sc position that is group a gated post in different isro centers so these are the vacancies Uh, so for electronics there is 21 vacancies and these are the uh, different locations where uh, the, the 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 vacancy will be filled up uh, there are centers in bangalore mahindragiri hasan hyderabad ahmedabad sihori kota and trivandrum uh, mostly these are the centers that is there for all the discipline for mechanical there are 33 uh, vacancies and for computer science there are 14 vacancies and almost as i was saying the you know the locations are uh, almost similar now the for for this particular uh, applications the the criteria is you should have a btech uh, in your equivalent stream so suppose if you are applying for electronics then you should have a b or btech in electronics and communication engineering and you should have at least 65% marks in your btech and you should have a valid gate score in electronics and communication in gate 2021 or 2022 similarly for mechanical you should have a btech in mechanical engineering with 65% marks there and similarly you should have a valid score in the mechanical engineering branch in gate 2021 or 2022 and similarly it applies for computer science 
now um, they are saying that there is the important instruction that the uh, candidates will be screened for uh, screened in for interview based on the valid GATE 2021 and 2022 score. And please remember that you have to fill up GATE score, not GATE marks or GATE rank. This is something that you must keep in into mind that whenever you are fulfilling the application form, must uh, you must fill the gate score not gate marks or gate rank because your shortlisting will be based on fully the gate score that you have filled up in the application form and also they have mentioned something serious here that icrb will verify your gate score uh, for each of the applicants and on verification if they found that candidate candidate has uh, mentioned a false gate score or given some invalid gate score then icrb will reserve the right to take appropriate action that is including criminal proceeding against the candidate so please make sure you are giving the right gate score and you are not misleading isro recruitment board because then they will take proper action against you so please don't do that uh, fill up the application form with the right uh, gate score that you have in gate 2020 or 20, uh, 2021 and 2022 now how to apply so the application procedure is online so it starts on 29th november uh, that is last tuesday and it will go till 19th december uh, 2022 and uh, once you once you submit your application you will be having a registration number you have to give your email id so these are uh, you know the normal norms that you have to uh, follow in any application form and if you are someone suppose who is working in uh, some other uh, other uh, com uh, companies like central or state government or some public sector, sector understanding or uh, undertaking or uh, autonomous body uh, then you you should have to submit the uh, noc that is no objection uh, certificate uh, so that you know your current employer know that you are applying for isro uh, interview and if you got selected then there will be no problem uh, from migrating from your organization to isro so this is uh, this is also very common norm uh, if you are someone who is employed under uh, central government or public sector uh, undertaking or autonomous body uh, so this is for them now the application fees is 250 uh, rupees uh, so the last day for the uh, fee payment is 21st uh, December though the application deadline is 19 December but I will suggest to you that whenever you are submitting the application on that day only please uh, uh, make the uh, fees payment and these are how you will you will do the fees payment there are online net banking debit card credit card uh, bank challenge there are a lot of options is there you can go through whichever suits you you follow that and if you are if you are female candidate or if you comes from sc st ex serviceman um, person or or with uh, person with uh, some physical disabilities so then your uh, payment is exempted you don't need to pay any application fee and yeah i mean candidates are advised that check all the fields uh, before clicking on the submit your application form because you know um, every information is vital and you will check each and every detail so make sure you are entering the correct detail there and you have to submit only your photo and signature in the in the portal no other documents uh, need to be uploaded but it's so said that you should be ready with all the original document because whenever they will call you uh, those documents will be needed during your uh, interview now coming to the selection process uh, so this is something that is very very crucial uh, so the qualification uh, the minimum qualification that is needed that is mentioned in in the in the in the table that i have shown you before uh, so shortlisting of the candidate for interview will be one is to seven ratio so they will call seven people uh, they will take the interview and they will just choose one people and the shortlisting will be based on the gate score uh, not the gate marks or gate rank uh, so based on your gate score you will be shortlisted uh, and and among the seven uh, seven candidate only one will be chosen and the the hundred marks they have they have distributed in these four or five categories so candidate will be assessed based on this follow, following attribute so technical or academic knowledge will carry 40 marks uh, general awareness uh, on a specific area of special specialization that is technical uh, that is 20 marks uh, your presentation and communication skill will carry 20 marks comprehension will carry 10 marks and then academic achievements will carry 10 marks so total 100 marks is there and uh, how you will perform based on that you will be getting uh, some marks out of 100 so candidate will have to score minimum 60 marks in the interview 
uh, and and the, uh, if you if you have some some physical um, uh, disabilities then you have to score minimum 50 marks in the interview uh, to to get through the interview and finally uh, the, the for the for the uh, generation of the final panel 50 percent weight is given to the gate score and 50 percent weightage will be given to the interview marks so whatever marks you are getting so minimum you have to get 60 but then if you get more than 60 50 percent of that uh, that marks will be taken uh, from from the interview marks and 50 percent will be taken from the gate score and based on that your final decision whether it will be uh, selected or not that will be decided so this is more or less about this um, uh, this uh, document and uh, the other things are not that relevant but if you want to read you can obviously read it so i'll be given the link uh, of this document in the description again you can go and check it out but uh, these are the few things that i think that i should share with you so that's why i shared it so that all the confusion should be clear yeah so that's it about the whole advertisement pdf that is there and i i hope uh, at the end of this video by now your all confusion is clear so just 68 seats are getting filled by this gate plus interview process but then again there will be another advertisement where uh, isto will go through the regular process of written test and interview so we have to wait for that i hope it will come around you know after this uh, recruitment is done i think that will be that will be up but yeah that's it about this whole uh, selection procedure and i i will again um, suggest you that go through this uh, this pdf once again very carefully and i will be sharing another video regarding how you have to prepare for the interview because this time there is no uh, written test so you have to prepare well for the interview so then i'll be making another video regarding that in detail so that will be coming in the next week maybe so that's it about this video i hope you like this video so if you like this video please like it and share this video to many other people and if you have any questions any doubt regarding uh, this uh, isro or isro recruitment process or isro uh, you know interview and all please let me know in the comment uh, so that I'll, 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 I can answer them uh, there and if you're new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I'll be uploading any video you'll be getting the notification so that's it about this video I'll be meeting in the next video until then bye